Welcome to this instructional video on setting up a touchscreen option for your excitement system. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process step by step. Before we begin, please ensure that you're using a Windows system with a computer that has dual HDMI outputs. You have the flexibility to choose the size of your touchscreen. We offer a 10 inch touchscreen for sale, or you can opt for a larger one. The first decision you need to make is whether you want to set up your system in landscape, wide mode, where your projector is placed on a shelf or suspended from the ceiling, or if you prefer portrait mode, where it's mounted on its side. It's crucial to match the resolution and orientation of your touchscreen to the projector image. For portrait mode setup, please refer to our separate video on mounting the projector sideways and configuring it to portrait mode if needed. Now, let's get started with the setup process. Plug the USB cable from the touchscreen directly into one of the USB ports on your computer, avoiding the use of a hub. If you're using auto detection, it's okay to plug the USB cable next to the USB 3 ports on the same side of the computer as the auto detection sensor cable. Connect an HDMI cable from the touchscreen to the second HDMI port on your PC. Then plug in the power cord from the touchscreen and power it on. Go into the admin settings with your control M and entering your PIN. Then choose settings, interaction, and put a checkbox in the multi-display support. Click done. Close the excitement app and right click on the Windows desktop. Choose display settings. You should see both monitors listed. You can click the identify button to identify which one is number one and which one is number two. When it can be configured either way, we recommend setting the projector as number one and the touchscreen as number two. If they have reversed, you can swap the HDMI plugs at the computer to turn them back around. Click on the display that represents the projector number one in our example. Ensure that make this my main display is selected. You should see a drop down with display resolution. It should default to the recommended setting. The recommended settings may vary for different models of projectors. You can try other settings and they'll make changes to the height, the width, or the output, and it may affect the clarity of the images. Normally staying with the recommended settings yields the best results. Now click on the display icon for the touchscreen number two in our example, and set it to the exact same resolution that you set for the projector. It may not be the recommended setting for that device, but it's more important to have the optimal setting for the projector and let the touchscreen match it. The only disadvantage would be there could be a small black border at the side or the top or the bottom if it's not the exact recommended setting for that device. When deciding what touchscreen to get, you can check the specs of the touchscreen and try to get one to match closely with the projector settings, but again, it's not 100% critical. After the resolutions are set the same, the two icons should align. So number two should align with number one. If not, click on number two and drag and drop it until it is aligned with number one. Choose Extend These Displays if it's not already selected. Once both displays have the correct resolution and alignment, type Calibrate into the search bar at the top left. Select Calibrate the screen for pen and touch input. The Tablet PC Setup box will appear. Click Setup. You will see a white screen, likely on the projector display. Follow the instructions and press Enter if the message isn't on the touchscreen display. Then simply touch the touchscreen once with your finger to indicate which display is your touchscreen input to Windows. At this point, you can try using the touchscreen without any additional calibration. Calibration probably will not be necessary. Launch the Excitement app, and after both screens populate, touch the Start Timer and choose a time. Then select a game, perhaps tic-tac-toe, and then tap on the squares. If your touch input isn't accurate, it's likely due to incorrect resolution or misalignment. Double check the display settings. If everything looks correct but it's still slightly off, you can try calibrating the screen. In the calibration box, ensure that you select the proper display from the drop-down menu. Use the name, not the numbers. 
when you click calibrate it will prompt you to touch the corners of the screen the first time there will be four touches in each corner if you recalibrate it there may only be four touches total again this step may not be necessary and can even sometimes cause issues if calibration doesn't improve the situation there's a reset button that will revert back to the default settings double check again all of your display settings and alignment that's normally where the problem is another useful tip is to add a restart excitement shortcut to the touchscreen this is handy when turning off the projector and the touchscreen overnight. Upon restarting, Windows will normally incorrectly display content on the projector instead of on the touch display. To resolve this, simply close and reopen the app. To make this process even easier, we've created a small batch file that you can just click on in order to accomplish that. Here's how to do it. Close the app so that you can see the Windows desktop. Open your browser and download the file by typing https colon slash slash axlogo.com slash restart dot zip. Once downloaded, right click on the file and choose extract all. Select the root directory, the C drive, as the destination. Browse to the C drive directory and right click and drag the file to the middle of the touch screen. Release the mouse button and choose to create a shortcut. Then right click on the shortcut and select change icon. Pick any of the stock Windows icons for the shortcut. At the end of the day, you turn off the projector and the touch screen, leaving the computer powered up. Then the next day, when you start up the projector and the touch screen, you will see the restart icon on the middle of the touch screen. Just Tap that and the app will close and then restart and load any updates that may be necessary. If Windows blocks it the first time you go to run it, click more info and then run anyway. You will still want keyboard and mouse controls for making setting changes in the admin side, but they won't be necessary for your customers. We hope you enjoy the touchscreen add-on to the excitement system.